In this video, we're now going to talk, talk about the parts of a parabola. In the last lesson, you learned that a parabola is um, the shape of the graph of a quadratic equation. So again, parabolas are those U-shaped graphs that you see um, from quadratic equations. They can be fat, they can be skinny, they can be all kinds of stuff. They can't be that squirrely squirrel, but they can be skinny or fat or anything. So those are all parabolas. And now we're going to talk about the parts of a parabola. So when you're talking, looking at a parabola, the first part we need to look at is the vertex. The vertex is the highest or the lowest point of a parabola. The vertex is named as an ordered pair, x, y. So looking at this um, picture, the vertex is right here. So the vertex is right there, and it's named as an ordered pair, x, y. So on the x-axis, um, it's 1, 2, 3. On the y-axis, it's 0. So this is 3, 0. So that is the vertex. It's the highest or lowest point of the graph. And here's right there is the lowest point, and it's 3, 0. OK, here's another part of the graph. Uh, um, Another graph in the parabola is now opening down. So the highest part of the graph is right here. And you can name that 1, 2, negative 2, up 2. So again, it's a negative 2, positive 2 is the vertex of this parabola. So remember, the vertex is the highest or lowest part of a parabola. Now, um, the vertex can be either called a maximum vertex or a minimum vertex. The maximum vertex is the highest point of the U. The parabola would have to be facing down. So this is maximum. If the vertex is the lowest point of the U, this is called a minimum. So I like to think of if it's high, it, it's maxed out. It's the highest you can go, so it's a maximum. Um, a minimum is the lowest you can have. It's the low point on the graph. So that's how I like to remember that. The next term is y-intercept. And the y-intercept is where the parabola crosses the y-axis. If it crosses the y-axis, axis, it will only cross at one point. Write the y-intercept as an ordered pair. So in this case, it crosses the y axis at 0, 0. And it also is the vertex. So in this case, the vertex and the y-intercept are the same, which is 0, 0. In this case, um, it crosses the y-axis again at the vertex. And that's where the y-intercept, um, that's where the y-intercept is because it crosses the axis y-axis at that point. And so it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0, negative 4 is the ordered pair of that y-intercept. The next thing we need to talk about is parabolas have lines of symmetry. And this is um, the vertical line that passes through the vertex of the parabola. Um, so as in the next slide, we'll see when you draw a line through the vertex, that's the line of symmetry, which means that both sides of the parabola are the same. Every parabola has a line of symmetry. The line of symmetry is written as an equation. And since it's a vertical line, the equation will always be x equals a number. Okay, So it's going to be x equals 1, x equals negative 2, x equals 3. It's going to be x equals something. Um, that number is the x-coordinate of the, of the vertex, since this is where the line will be touching the x-axis. So let's practice. Looking at this line of symmetry, on the, here is the y-axis, and here is the x-axis. So if you draw this line straight down, that is the line of symmetry. And so it touches the x-axis at 0. So the equation is x0. So you would say line of symmetry equals x equals 0. In this case, 
here's our line of symmetry at, from the vertex. So we're going to draw that line. Okay. Now, here is the y-axis and here's the x-axis. So it touches the x-axis here at 1, 2. So the equation is x equals 2. Now, we're going to try. I want you to pick out the equations here that are examples of quadratics. So take some time here, pu push pause, and I want you to circle or make a check mark or indicate on your paper which of these equations are quadratics. And when you're ready, hit play and check your answers. Well, now that you're back, let's see. The first one, y equals x squared minus 4. It does have an x squared and there's no other degrees, so that is a quadratic. y equals x squared plus 2, that is a quadratic. y equals 4x minus, plus 2 is not. y equals negative x squared is. y equals negative, or y equals 3x cubed minus 4x squared is not because it has an x cubed term and y equals 4x squared minus 5x plus 4 is. This has no x squared term and this has an x cubed which is not allowed. Let's try this one. Does the parabola open up or down and why? The equation is y equals negative x squared plus 6. So don't use the picture, use the equation. y equals negative x squared plus 6. And 3, does the parabola have a minimum or a maximum? Press pause and try that and then when you're ready, come back and check your answer. Now that you're back, does the parabola open up or down and why? Well, our x squared term is negative x squared, so because it's negative, it's going to open down. And does the parabola have a minimum or a maximum? Well, here's our vertex, the highest point, and because it's the highest point, it is a maximum. Okay. Using the parabola below, identify the following. The vertex, the maximum or minimum, the line of symmetry, and the y-intercept. Press pause and identify those things on the graph and then come back and check your answer. Now that you're back, let's identify. The vertex is right here. And remember, you identify that as a xy point, so it's 0, 0. Because it's the highest point, it is a maximum. Okay, the line of symmetry. Let's draw it through the vertex, okay, which is x equals 0. And the y-intercept is touching at the vertex, which y, oh, the y-intercept is also 0, 0. Using the parabola below, identify the following. Vertex, maximum or, min maximum or minimum, line of symmetry, or the y-intercept. Push pause, and then come back to check your answer. All right, the vertex is here. It's the lowest point. Okay, the vertex is negative 1, 4. Because it's the lowest point, it is the minimum. I'm going to draw my line of symmetry. And it's x equals negative 1. And our y intercept, it touches the y intercept right here at negative 3. Hopefully this has helped you understand parabolas and the um, parts of a parabola. If you still need help, look, go back through the lesson or call your teacher um, and good luck.